with our first chip designed specifically for the Mac. And we call it M1. Hey, what is up guys? So today I'm back with the next video and today I want to talk about Apple's One More Thing event. So what I want to actually talk about today is the M1 chip. But before I get into it, make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe to this channel if you like my content. Make sure to share with a friend who you think might also like my content. So let's get right into the video guys. Alright guys, so the last time Apple said that they're going to do one more thing was when they announced the iPhone X. And the iPhone X was a totally different design from what we have been used to. Um, You saw that the screen got bigger and they kind of stick to that design up until today. So that same notch, you remember when iPhone X just came out and they were like notch CD and that guy with the notch ear style was trending and all those stuff and now they're still using that design they're at iphone 12 right now and they're still using that design so we knew from first when apple said one more thing that is gonna be a new generation of something and a lot of people i'm no i don't know where the information leaked but a lot of people predicted that it would be on the new silicon chips or apple's new chips apple is gonna go and start to use their chips instead of using intel chips in their pcs and their macbooks and all those stuff not their pcs their macs they don't call it pcs they call it macs so in all the macs there are now m1 chips which is apple made chips and those chips are like the a14 bionic chips that are in your iphone 12 iphone 11 and so on so apple kind of been playing around with this chip for the past two years or even more and they said that it will be even better than the intel chips that they use in their computer um it will work better with their software such as final cut pro logic um photoshop all those different stuff will work even better they even go as far as saying that it will like wake up out of sleep mode and just be ready to go into performance mode to do like 3d renderings or 3d programming or editing raw footage so as i said apple um customize their their apps to run these software these these programs even better with the chips with the chip that they are using so for logic pro it can angle up to three times the amount of audio tracks for final cut pro it can it can angle up to six times faster so it would basically run six times faster and just imagine how fast final cut pro is with the intel chips already so if it's gonna go even faster that should be mind-blowing apps from third-party providers like adobe are also coming apple says so i'm guessing adobe is gonna customize their photoshop and lightroom and their premiere pro and after effects to work better with the chip because as you know the chip is gonna be new and um, will this chip be able to compete with intel and amd i'm not sure intel has been building chips for a long time i think they're doing it long before apple came out and i think amd might be the same time around don't quote me on it might be the same time around apple started to make computers when i say computers i mean even cell phones and all those stuff because if you guys know that is why apple is one of the best phone companies now because they have been making computers so they just put it into a mobile computer because you know your phone is basically a mobile computer so that's just basically it guys the new chip has came out and they're announcing a bunch of new macs whether it be the mac mini i might do a video on that let me know if you guys want to see that mac mini i'm guessing they're gonna do a new mac pro with the with the um, new chip and all those stuff so i'm pretty sure there's a lot to come um as the event carry on and you guys can see they're pretty excited about it and as i said the last time they said one more thing it was something huge and you guys can see it is definitely something huge it is definitely a game changer for apple 
it's definitely a turning point the fact that they're gonna use their own chips what is next they're gonna build their own gpus who knows i mean they have the technology to do so and macbooks mac in general sells a lot a lot of creative prefer to use macs to do their creative works whether it be engineers musicians content creator they just love to use app products to make their things much faster i guess it's much efficient and as i said the chip is doing much better one more thing one more thing is that the chip is said to also run at a lower wattage but do the same performance and even better performance that the other chips like amd would do so i'm guessing it's gonna use a lot less um power and do the same amount of work who knows but as i said it is definitely a game turner for apple um it can pair up with with a a core gpu and it has a 16 core neural engine and it also has universal memory architecture a usb 4 controller media encoder decode engines and a house of security features so as you guys know apple is known to have the best security out there so apple is better at security in windows than windows than android and all those stuff so people are definitely gonna look into that and to know that you can fit so many things in just a small chip these days like imagine 16 billion transistors in a single chip plus more like there's more things to that chip like that is just so fascinating to me to know that you can fit so many things in a tiny chip these days and a tiny chip is doing so much because i'm pretty sure back then if you were gonna design something like this i'm pretty sure they would make it big as like a plane or something a passenger plane that would make it that big just to do this same amount of work so i'm pretty excited to see what apple is doing and apple is definitely have a bright future the fact that they're making their own chips now they can make their software do whatever they want and people might even prefer their software because you know the software is gonna work right with that and if if it have any bugs it is like one company so it's not like you know your premiere pro go crash and you go out to adobe and say hey my premiere pro crash and you're on windows but it is like what gpu are you using are you using this gpu there's like a million different gpus out there or what motherboard are you using are you using this motherboard or what chip are you using are you using an intel chip or an amd chip or what memory are you using you guys you guys get the point now with light with not lightroom with final cut pro if final cut pro crashes then am not amd apple will know exactly what to do and how to manipulate their chips to make sure that this app don't crash again or why is it crashing what do we need to improve in the software or on the chip to make it better so it is definitely going to have a lot of people going to switch because of that because it is def definitely annoying when your software goes crashing especially when you're doing a lot of work and it's frustrating the last thing you want to do is like having your software crashing it would just kill your productivity by far and just show you off and just make your creativity not at its best so as i said guys that should be pretty exciting a lot of people are gonna buy it because of that but that's pretty much what i have to say for this video expect more videos like this that will be coming out later on this channel thumbs up if you want to see them like comment down below let me know what you want to guys want to know let me know where did i go wrong in this video because you guys opinions do count and i do read all of you guys comments so feel free to comment down below let me know what are you excited about what did i miss did i talk something that what did it go like that did i misunderstand something all those stuff just leave them in the comment section i'll definitely respond to them and thank you guys for watching thank you guys for supporting the channel you guys have been doing so great lately i really appreciate it we have been growing we're growing together really appreciate it comment down below i'll be responding to all of you guys comments
So thank you guys for watching. If you reach this far in this video and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing because you definitely like the content and share with a friend who you think might like the content. That's what I have to say for this video guys. Thank you guys for watching. Until my next video guys, I see you guys when I see you guys. Peace.